Hello and welcome to the new series of Drishti IAS. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment today, we are going to discuss all about Storm Eunice. This topic is very important from the perspective of prelims and also from the perspective of GS mains paper 1. Let's begin with the various topics that we are going to go through step by step. These are the many topics that we are going to cover, starting with the news. So, in a very rare event, the British Army is on a standby at the backdrop of Storm Eunice. Storm Eunice is an extra tropical cyclone which is going to and is wreaking havoc in the Great Britain. What is the entire issue about? Why is there a need for an army? What is the yellow, amber and red alert? We will discuss about all. So, moving on, if we talk about who has imposed the red warning, two red warnings have been imposed with Storm Eunice and Storm Dudley as well. So, the entire imposition is done by the Met Office. The Met Office is the short term of Meteorological Office of the Britain, of the Great Britain. And they have imposed two red weather warnings. And this is of course for Storm Eunice and Storm Dudley. So, Storm Eunice is actually seasonal storm seasonal storm and it is a part of the European seasonal storm of 2021-2022. Of course, the name will be different for every storm. The meteorological department, the meteorological office, which is led by a CEO, names the storm. Whenever they actualize, they are formed, they get named. Eunice actually is a term which is a Greek name. It's actually a Greek name. So, it's not Eunice, it's Eunice. Okay, let's move on and talk about where this storm will go. As I told you, this is an extra tropical cyclone. Storm Eunice is an extra tropical cyclone, and by the name, we know that it forms in the middle and upper tropics. And it's so important to know about the storm because this is one of the rarest storms and we see that there are so many warnings for so many different regions. Red warning, it is specifically in the southwestern region and in London as well. And if we talk about Wales, Wales is also under red warning. Then for the rest of the areas, amber warning is there and yellow warning. Why red warning? Because the red warning, the Met Office talks about or imposes red warning when there is going to be an immense havoc on the, it will have an impact on the lives of the people, on the properties. And people need to secure themselves and their properties whenever red warning is issued. If we talk about amber warning, it is less intense than the red warning, but it means that there will be a disruption of the daily lives in the daily lives if amber warning has been imposed. For yellow warnings, yellow warnings are not very, what do you call it, they are not at all that much intense and there will be a storm, impacts will be there but not anything to worry about. Now, if we talk about uh, Tom Eunice being an extra tropical cyclone, it is being defined as a weather bomb. What is a weather bomb? Weather bomb is defined as an intense low pressure, remember this, low pressure system with a central pressure that falls 24 millibars in a 24 hour period for it to develop and it will be impacting Wales and southwest England and Cornwall, Devon and Somerset have been also expecting deluge. Let's move forward and talk about extra tropical cyclone. What is an extra tropical cyclone? These cyclones, they form in the latitude range of 30 degree north to 60 degree north in the context of Tom Eunice I am talking about. And extra tropical cyclones occur when there is a difference in the fronts. Cold front, cold front, warm front, cold front, warm front and then occluded front as well. 
सो वेन देर इज अ डिफरेंस इन दी हॉरिजोंटल फ्रॉन्टल बेसिकली इन अ हॉरिजोंटल मैनर द फ्रॉन्ट्स आर डिफरिंग इट कैन अगर ऑल्सो वेन एवर दी प्रेशर डिसेंस वेन द प्रेशर डिसेंस वी नो दैट दी वॉम वॉम विंस दे मूव टूवर्ड्स नॉर्थ ओके एंड दी कोल्डर विंस दे स्टार्टेड मूविंग टूवर्ड्स साउथ सो वेर एवर दैट हैपन्स द warm goes towards north and the colder moves towards south this gives rise to an anti clockwise air circulation which results in extra tropical cyclones to develop all right so remember certain things about extra tropical cyclones and extra tropical cyclones is specifically in regions where we see land masses they tend to be intense okay let's move forward and talk about one more important thing related to it experts have been saying that because of the presence of specifically there could be a presence of sting jet this is going to be a very dangerous storm what is a sting jet it basically is a very small area inside a storm just like it is like 30 miles of area and because it is important to understand extra tropical cyclone storm eunice and sting jet you have to read everything related to it specifically from geography's prelims perspective and these are a very small areas inside the storm they last for just 3 to 4 hours okay but they might they might give rise to such violent winds that life and property gets damaged they can increase the speed of the winds up to 100 miles per hour so that is very very dangerous that is why we need to understand how sting jets work so as i told you there is a distribution of fronts different fronts cold front warm front whenever that happens the conveyor belt it increases the chance of a tropical cyclone to develop extra tropical cyclone to develop and because of that such sting jets can also appear so here we see how do they occur now formally it was recognized sting jets they were recognized when one occurred during the great storm of the year 1987 and as i told you the two fronts warm and hot fronts close to the two fronts we see the focused streams of air which are known as conveyor belts these are conveyor belt cold conveyor belt and warm front so when they mix together what happens the colder wind the colder wind pulls in inside and when it pulls in inside what happens there the term dry intrusion is used the colder air which is denser in nature it will move downwards so because of that a high intensity sting jet can be formed and then the cold conveyor belt which is a strong stream of cold air pulls down that i told you it's a dry intrusion and cold conveyor belts they start bringing snow and rain and that evaporate and speed up the stream of cold air falling into the storm even more because whenever storm whenever snowing will occur the cold winds will become denser and denser and they will start moving inwards downwards this is known as a sting jet okay the sting in the tail and due to the strength of the gusts the wind gusts the met office has warned that they bring the potential of for flying debris means if there is any detachment of a physical object in the form of breaking down because of the because of the storm they can also result in debris flying from here and there and that is a result to it might result in death of some person damage to property or travel disruption and people they are being 
worried about it because the impact is going to be very severe people are being urged to stay at home and if they have any travel plans they should abandon them and brisk winds in the northern ireland northern england and southern scotland they could cause blizzard like condition heavy snowfall and drifting of lying snow as well reducing visibility which makes driving very dangerous and difficult okay so this was a very brief portion and if you want to know more about it kindly read the important articles from not only indian newspapers but international newspapers as well because that would give you brownie points for writing answers in the mains examination so what is a sting jet explain the process of its formation in 150 words that's it for today tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment until then stay updated and thank you so much for watching